Hi, I'm Steve from Performance Bike Fit. Uh, I'd like to mention a few words today about crank length. Uh, I get this, asked this question quite a lot. Uh, does crank length make the difference? Uh, well, yes, it does. Um, <clears throat> there's lots of evidence out there that uh, for changing your crank length will actually make your uh, pedal uh, technique a lot more uh, efficient. Um, really, because it basically it, it will then cut out any of those dead spots in your pedaling technique. So, if your crank lengths are too long, um, then what will happen is that when you get to the top of the pedal stroke, uh, because this you have the two cramps right at the very top and in the hip here, uh, then you will slow down and have a dead spot in that pedaling stroke. If the most efficient pedaling stroke is one that runs smoothly without uh, any dead spots in it, so that will increase your efficiency. Uh, it also help to increase your cadence as well. And you know, <coughs> the increase your cadence does make life a lot easier. It takes a lot less strain off your muscles, so therefore you're using your aerobic system as opposed to your uh, muscles to generate the power. Uh, this, so. And there's also uh, people who say, well, if I reduce my crank lengths, uh, will I see notice or drop in power? Now there's lots and lots of evidence out there that said no. Absolutely not. Um, what we perhaps probably uh, will see is we will increase power because the pedaling must become more efficient and more, shall we say, circular uh, is the best way of putting it. Uh, so we've got a classic example here uh, of where the lady bought the bike uh, from the manufacturer. Uh, this is a Ribble bike. Uh, now this bike is a size 47 centimetre. So a fairly small person like me. And the bike actually came with 172.5 cranks. Far too long for a bike, uh, for a person to fit a bike this size. Now, so we have just swapped those out now for 165s. So by doing that, we've had to uh, increase the saddle height by seven uh, mil, or seven and a half mil. Uh, so that now is what will help a little bit higher uh, seat uh, post position. Uh, sort of standard height, uh, but what will happen is it will help open that hip up uh, once you get to the top of the pedal stroke, so therefore there's no dead spot at the top. Um, so we're just going to come back in now, uh, today, um, we're going to put it back on there, just check the numbers, make sure we're okay, uh, and we should go from there. Now, uh, this, so there's lots, been lots of debate about uh, crank lengths and uh, in relation to height of people, it really doesn't make a difference. Um, I'm five foot four, and I run 165 cranks. Bradley Wiggins, sir, sorry, Sir Bradley Wiggins, six foot four, rides 165 cranks. So there you go. Um, there's a lot, of, a lot of pros out there who run shorter cranks, purely so they can get that higher cadence and uh, reduce any dead spots in their pedaling technique. Um, but yes, he came from a um, track uh, background, so that would, would have helped. Now, if you're someone uh, who's able to take length, longer crank lengths, give more torque. Yes, that is true. But only in the first five or ten pedal strokes. So it's only important if you're someone like Chris Hoy, who wants to put out huge amounts of watts in those first five to ten pedal strokes. After that, it's irrelevant. Um, so, yeah, it's, it is if you want to put out lots of torque. So if you're a track cyclist, you want to get away off the, off the line very, very quickly with lots and lots of power, yeah, the longer cranks will help. But for the rest of us, us human beings, uh, um, short crank lengths uh, are definitely the way to go. And so there's lots of evidence out there um, to, to say short crank lengths will uh, benefit your cycling. Okay, so I hope that's helped. Um, so don't forget, if you enjoyed this, and don't forget to uh, like, subscribe, and share with all your friends uh, who are in need of a bike fit. Um, so if you want to come to Bike Fit, it's uh, bike, performancebikefit.co.uk uh, and uh, yeah, put yourself in, be the best thing you've ever done, it's the best upgrade you can ever do for your bike. Thanks for watching.